Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. In today's video, I'm featuring yet another new investment option that you guys can grow your money in. We've been covering Gcash G-Invest for a while now. This main competitor of Gcash is finally due. It's finally gonna be dueling it out with Gcash in the realm of investment funds. Who else are we talking about but none other than Gcash's main competitor, Maya. Maya's foray into this is aptly named Maya Funds. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the registration process, the available funds that Maya has, and number three, most importantly, what sets this aside from Gcash Invest? Are you excited to grow your money with Maya? Stick around and find out how. Let's go. So let me get my phone. So for the registration process, you are first asked if you are a US person. So I believe in terms of investment ownership, there are some technicalities here. The next would be indicating your email address. And through the next sections, this is where you will be answering what your current net worth is how much money you're willing to invest in, you will also be asked how much you're willing to risk. And basically, through this assessment process, it's checked if you are actually risk tolerant or if you are risk averse. Meaning that if you are looking to invest in more aggressive instruments such as equities, make sure that you answer these aggressively. But if that's really hunter style and you are a little new to all this, then I would suggest you answer, of course, honestly, and indicate that you don't really want to lose too much money or and so on and so forth. This section also handles if you have had any experience with investing in the same or similar instruments in the past. You're also asked the frequency of how often you're gonna be investing. And once you're done with answering all those questions, you are led to the summary of your answers and this is where you'll look to proceed and relay the information to Maya so that they can create your investor profile. Of course, before proceeding, you are led to the terms and agreement section. I understand that we might not fully read this, but um, if you have the time, then please do so. So clicking on agreeing to all this, I am presented my investment profile as aggressive. And now I will wait for Maya's approval. So that's done in less than five minutes. So I waited another day or two. So when I checked it on Tuesday, I already had there the portfolio of different investment funds available to me. There's actually no need to fund a separate wallet. So whatever's available on your Maya account can be placed into the investments directly. So now let's go through the available funds that Maya has. So quite impressively, Maya has launched with 13 available investment funds for you. There are three funds here that are on the conservative side. So if you are not really familiar with stocks and equities, then this would be the fund for you. So these three would be the Atram Money Market Fund. The second would be the ALFM Money Market Fund. And the third would be the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. Now is all of this starting to sound very familiar to you? Well, it should if you've already been watching my Gcash G-Invest videos in the past two years. So generally, they are also working right now with Atram and ALFM. Let's move on to the more aggressive ones. So for these higher risk funds, we can actually separate them between Philippine funds and global equity funds. For the Philippine funds, so there is the ALFM Philippine Stock Index Fund. There is also the ATRAM Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund. And lastly, there is the ATRAM Philippine SDG Fund. This is actually the Philippine Sustainability and Development Fund that we've also discussed in my previous videos. So, so far, everything that Maya is making available has been available to us via Gcash G-Invest. So, I'm still looking for those funds that are not available in G-Invest and hold on, we are getting there. So, now we are in the section of aggressive funds that are covering the global markets. So, the first of these would be the Atram Global Equity Opportunity Feeder Fund. The second is the Atram Global Infra Equity Feeder Fund. All of them are going to be ATRAM from here on. So let me just not include ATRAM anymore. The next is the Global Healthcare Feeder Fund. The fourth is the Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund. The fifth is the Global Technology Feeder Fund. And the last two on this list are those that are of particular interest to me because these are the ones that are not on Gcash Invest. So these are the Global Financials Feeder Fund. And the second would be the Global Allocations Feeder Fund. Let's talk about these two new funds that Maya is offering, which is currently their differentiating factor. 
So first, let's cover the ATRAM Global Financial Sphere Fund. As the name suggests, this is a fund that is covering the financial sector. So included here would be companies in the banking sector, financial services, consumer finance, and so on and so forth. Since this is a feeder fund, the target fund that it's patterned after would be the BlackRock Global Funds World Financials Fund. And for those of you curious about which companies the target fund actually invests in, I'm sure these are very familiar to you. So there is JP Morgan Chase & Company, HSBC Holdings, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and Standard Chartered, just to name a few. Since it's a global fund, it invests in the financial sector from different regions. So the top three here would be the US at 47%, the United Kingdom at 12%, and Italy at 6.8%. Now let's go into the important meat of the matter, which is the actual performance of the fund in the past six months. Its returns are at 17.25%. For the past one year, it's at 6.62%. And if you are looking at a longer term three-year period, right now, its returns are at 43.04%. And lastly, in terms of its trust fees, it's at 1.0% per annum. So as mentioned, this is a fund that is specifically investing in the financial sector of the global markets. So I guess if you are a bit of a traditionalist and you see the values of traditional banks, even as there are new alternative payments, new currencies coming up in the crypto sphere, this is one way for you to be betting on the more traditional, more secure side of things. We don't really know how things will pan out, but I think there's gonna be a mix of both crypto and the traditional financial sector working together. So let's move on to the second investment fund in Maya that is not available in Gcash G-Invest. So this would be the Atram Global Allocations Feeder Fund. Now the past fund was a little easier for me to explain. So this fund is sort of a balance fund. It reminds me of the multi-asset income funds that we've been talking about. So multi-asset income funds have a mix of equities and fixed income securities. So the Global Allocations Feeder Fund is quite similar to that. Specifically, 56% of its portfolio is invested in equities, 37.79% of its portfolio in fixed income securities, less than 1% would be in commodities, and the remaining would be in cash equivalents of just another 5.59%. Its target fund would be the BlackRock Global Funds Global Allocation Fund. In terms of different industries and sector exposure, its number one exposure would be 23.9% in Sovereign. So I wasn't sure what this was. Uh, I'll share more of this with you later on. The second sector at 12.6% would be information technology. And the third at 8.5% would be healthcare. Of course, it also invests in other sectors uh, in lower percentages. So to name specifically what the target fund invests in, there are the usuals here, Microsoft, Apple, Alphabet, which is Google. But this is what's interesting to me. I haven't come across this before, but some of the top holdings of the target fund would actually include the Kingdom of Spain, the Federal Republic of Germany, and a bunch of treasury notes in different percentages. So when they say sovereign, I guess they mean sovereignty, uh, countries, kingdoms, whatsoever. So in as much as that's nice to say, let's go into the important part of the performance. So for the past six months, its returns are at 2.94%. For one year, it's at negative 5.23%. And since its inception, it has returns of negative 10.37%. And as usual with all the funds we've covered, this also has a per annum trust fee. This one is at 1.19%. The sun is getting in the way. So I just wanted to clarify that even though its portfolio is quite similar to multi-asset income funds, this fund, however, does not declare dividends. So that may be a big factor for you when assessing this fund. So that's about it. Obviously, I invested in the two funds that aren't available via Gcash G Invest. The minimum investment for both these funds are at 1,000 pesos each. Maya is actually advertising that you can invest for as little as 50 pesos. Do note that these funds that are available at a minimum of 50 pesos would only be the Philippine equity funds. So also take a note of that. So I've only covered here, again, the two funds that are not available via G Invest G Funds. So since all these ATRAM and ALFM funds have been covered in my previous videos, can I just redirect you guys to those older videos? 
So what do I think about Maya Fonts? Well, as mentioned earlier, I was really hoping that they would have other investment partners. I'm happy that they are able to offer an alternative and they are even giving funds that aren't available via G-Invest. But so far, I don't think there's anything that really sets them aside. I trust that Maya will actually be scrambling and really working double time to catch up with G-Invest and more investment opportunities for us to invest in, more videos for me to make. <laughs> so what do you guys think about Maya funds? Do you like those two different fonts that Maya is offering us? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!